Welcome back, everyone. Today's video is a little different from the usual. I've noticed that only a few people are using GitHub to manage their 5M servers, so I decided to create this guide to show you the benefits. Trust me, this video took a lot of effort. I even had to buy a VPS just to make it happen. If this helps you manage your server, please consider supporting me with a donation on Ko-Fi. You'll find the link in the description. Let's start by exploring why GitHub is so useful and the advantages of using it. Imagine I'm the head developer of a 5M roleplay server with a team of junior developers from different time zones. Without GitHub, if someone makes a change to the server, I'd only know if I asked them directly. With GitHub, every update or new file added appears in the commit history, making it easy to track changes and avoid confusion. This eliminates the issue of miscommunication or hidden changes that could cause errors. Let's say we have a few known issues on the server. Developers often forget tasks they need to handle, and even if they fix something, they might not mention it. This can lead to another developer trying to solve the same issue, wasting valuable time. With GitHub, you can create an issue for any problem identified on the server. Developers can then work on resolving it, update the issue with their progress, and close it when it's fixed. This creates transparency and allows others to see exactly what was done to resolve the issue, which not only saves time, but also helps other team members learn from each fix. It's a great way to streamline team communication and boost productivity. From a script developer's perspective, you don't have to upload files manually every time. Instead, you can make changes directly in the system and push them to GitHub seamlessly. This method saves time and effort while keeping everything organized and transparent. Let's dive in and see how to set it all up. First, make sure you have a GitHub account. Once you're logged in, open your profile and go to Organizations. You can create a private repository in your profile, but I prefer using an organization to keep things professional. Don't worry about paid plans. GitHub offers free options. After creating an organization for your roleplay server, you'll have the option to invite other members. Here, you can add your developers and staff. We can decide who has permission to make changes to the server. Once your organization is set up, go to people at the top to view all members and pending invites. To set permissions for a team member, simply click on their profile in the organization and select Edit Membership Privileges. By default, members have read access, but you can change this based on their role. If you want someone to have full control, you can assign them admin privileges, giving them access to manage the entire organization. For developers, you can grant write permission, allowing them to push updates directly to GitHub. This permission level is also ideal for staff members who need to report issues, enabling them to log server issues for developers to address. This way, you have control over who can make changes, track issues, and ensure smooth collaboration within the team. After extensive testing and productive discussions, I'm thrilled to announce that Rocketnode and Codeine are now official partners. We recognize the critical importance of providing top-tier hosting services to ensure your players enjoy an exceptional 5M experience. Rocketnode comes with DDoS protection, 24-7 support, and cloud backups. They offer extremely customizable 5M server hosting, allowing you to create your own server with just one click. Their easy-to-use control panel makes it simple to set up and modify your 5M server. If you're tired of searching for a reliable provider for your community, Start building with Rocketnode today. Make sure to use the link in the description and get a 25% discount on your server by using the promo code provided below. Don't miss out on this great opportunity to enhance your server with a reliable hosting solution. Next, the essential part of this setup is GitHub Desktop. Each developer on the team will need to download it. After GitHub Desktop is installed, we'll create a new repository in the organization. I recommend naming it resource for quick access, but you can name it however you like. Be sure to only include a readme file at this stage.
Once the repository is created, you'll need to clone it to your desktop. To do this, click the green code button in the repository and select Open with GitHub Desktop. GitHub Desktop will prompt you to choose a location for the cloned repository. For this tutorial, I'm creating a separate folder to clone the repository. However, you can choose to clone it directly into your local server's repository where your resource folder is located, but avoid naming it resource to prevent conflicts with existing folders. Now that you've successfully cloned the resource folder, you can view it in your saved file paths. Inside, you'll see the README file we created earlier. Next, we'll move all of our scripts and resources into this cloned folder. If you have plenty of disk space, feel free to copy and paste. But if you're working with limited space, I recommend cutting and pasting the files instead. Once you've added everything to the new folder, you'll notice the same files appearing in GitHub Desktop as well, ready for tracking and managing. In GitHub Desktop, you can see all the changes you've made in this commit. If there's a file or folder you don't want visible in the editing space, but still need in the resource folder, you can right-click on it and select Ignore. This hides it from GitHub tracking while keeping it in your folder. If you're using VS Code, you can also open the your file and add the folder name followed by a star to hide all files in that folder from GitHub Desktop. The next step is to add a summary of the changes we made, such as adding scripts, along with a description for greater transparency. Once you're ready, click Commit to Main. After that, you'll need to push Origin to upload the files to GitHub, making them visible to everyone on the web. Now, as you can see, all files are now available on GitHub. Let's bring in our junior developer and the VPS. The setup process is the same for both, so we'll treat the VPS as another developer. Open GitHub Desktop on the VPS or the junior developer system and repeat the same steps we did on our own PC. This time, though, we're cloning the entire set of scripts directly into the actual 5M resource folder. Now that the entire repository is cloned into the 5M resource folder, our server is hosted with this cloned version. Let's see how this setup works in real time. As the head developer, I'll start by adding a new file to my local files. Once the file is created, open GitHub Desktop, where you'll immediately see the file listed as a change. Add a summary and description for the change, commit to main, and then push to origin. Now, when another developer, or our VPS, opens GitHub Desktop, they can click Fetch. If there are updates, a notification for a new pull request will appear. Simply pull from Origin, and the new file will be added to the main server seamlessly. Let's try another change. I'll edit the items.lua file on my local system, following the same steps. Again, on the VPS, we fetch, pull, and the changes appear without any interruptions.
The real highlight of this system is that you can go to GitHub, open the latest commit, and see detailed information. What was changed, which files were edited, and how long ago the changes were made. This keeps everything transparent and well-organized, eliminating the need for constant back-and-forth updates. With GitHub, every change is easily tracked, updates are seamless, and collaboration is smoother than ever. This setup ensures everyone's on the same page, saving time and preventing mistakes. And the process works the same way on the VPS. If you make any changes directly on the VPS, just follow the same steps. Add a summary, commit to main, and push to origin. This will automatically sync the changes to GitHub, keeping everyone up to date, regardless of where the change was made. With this setup, you have a fully synchronized workflow across your PC, VPS, and any other developer systems. No more wondering who changed what, and no more issues with outdated files or conflicting updates. This way, every change is documented, organized, and instantly accessible to the entire team. Now, team members can create an issue to describe any problems they encounter. It's similar to reporting issues on Discord, but here, issues can be closed once they're resolved, keeping the entire team in the loop. Let's say we've fixed an issue and are ready to commit. Each issue is assigned a unique issue number. Mine, for example, is hash1. When writing the commit description, you can reference the issue by saying something like, fixed issue hash1. When you push this update to GitHub, it will automatically link the commit to the open issue, marking it as resolved. This way, everyone can see exactly what was done to fix the problem. This method not only allows others to learn from the fix, but also helps owners prevent temporary, undocumented solutions. It adds accountability and transparency, benefiting the entire team. This version keeps it concise and emphasizes the value of GitHub's issue tracking system for the team. And that wraps it up. By using GitHub, you're setting up a more organized, transparent, and efficient workflow for your 5M server. With controlled permissions, clear issue tracking, and synchronized updates, Managing your team and server just got a whole lot easier. Thank you for watching. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others who might find it useful. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your server. As always, happy developing, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm thrilled to announce that Codeine has officially surpassed 7,000 members on Discord, making it one of the best 5M developers and server owners hubs. Fueled by this increase in member count, we've added developer AI bots to help fix code snippets for users facing issues. Moreover, users can also create logos for their servers using our logo-creating AI bots. With support for all frameworks from thousands of developers, you'll also find all the necessary free items needed to start a simple roleplay server. So what's stopping you from joining? Join now!